Excuse me, ma'am. Could you give me directions to Frederick Street? Oh, sure. Uh, Frederick Street. Yeah. You just want to go three blocks up this way and then take your first right. When you come to the first stop sign after you've taken that first right, just turn left. And then I think three blocks after that, no, maybe it's two blocks, then take a left at the second stop sign you get to. When you take that left, there's usually going to be kids out playing behind a red picket fence. If the kids are not there, then you've gone too far. You want to come back, take a right, and then you should find Frederick Street. Okay. Of course, now that I think of it, maybe when you go up this way, take a left at the traffic light and then take a right at the stop sign instead. That red fence is still going to be there, probably with the kids inside. If the kids aren't inside, maybe come back and then take a right at the second stop sign instead of the third one. Uh, but I thought that... You know, now that I think of it, if you want to get to Frederick Street really quickly, you could just go back this way and take a right and Frederick Street crosses the intersection. Empower is an educational program that empowers and directs teens to make healthy choices in every area of life. With 20 trained volunteers, Empower is able to go into local classrooms for a five-day course and equip teens with a better understanding of sex education. Empower encourages teens to set goals for their life and reach for their dreams. After the course is finished, many students make life-changing decisions to stay abstinent and others are grateful for the truthful information. One seventh grader wrote, Now that you have showed me why it's bad, I pledge that I will not have sex until I'm married. I made the right decision and I hope my friends did too. Another seventh grader said, I'm not perfect. Yes, I've made mistakes, but now I'm deciding to start over and develop a clean slate. When each student was given a test at the beginning of the class that had the question, do you believe sex is a normal part of teenage dating? 26% said yes, and 49% said no. After the class was finished, the same test was given again, and this time, 16% said yes, and 69% said no. When given the statement, it is likely that I will have sex in the next year, 14% said yes, and 69% said no. After the class, 8% said yes, 85% said no. Empower is making a difference in the community and is changing lives.